Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Justin with Parallel Finance, and today we're doing a quick Polkadot and Kusama news update and roundup to update what's going on in the parachains, crowd loans, or just in the networks in general. And for this week's update, we have an update for the Kusama network, and that is State Mine. State Mine just got passed uh, as an upgrade uh, proposal to allow for new minting of tokens. NFTs, stablecoins, and other assets to live on the Kusama network. This is amazing because now we are able to start to integrate more use cases and even see new tokens come alive on the Kusama network, independent of the parachains. These tokens can now live on these other chains as well. Obviously, Akala was the first one that launched. Um, so we'll start seeing some projects uh, live on these other uh, parachain projects. And so state mine was actually passed as the first uh, public pair chain through the public referendum. That means it's a public uh, use that uh, can be used uh, for the chain for common good. The Polkadot version is called Statement. Obviously, again, there's two different versions, the Polkadot and the Kusama version. The Kusama version is called uh, state mine, and it just uh, launched a brand new phase and upgrade for Kusama. Now, if you take a look at the features here, what this means though, is that uh, it only takes one KSM uh, to deploy a new asset class. So if you wanna create an NFT, if you wanna bring USDT, USDC, or even create your own token. I saw there was one called Chaos DAO. I think there's a brand new DAO that's coming online as well too. Uh, but I think we saw 50 plus other assets uh, that started to register and there'll be more uh, daily. So what we'll start to see though, is that uh, these assets will be uh, sufficient for paying uh, transactions fees, which means they'll be paying in KSM. Uh, and the default for the token um, for paying these fees will be in KSM. So it's giving more use cases uh, for uh, Kusama and we can accept, expect the same exact features to roll over for Polkadot as well. Now they require the Relay uh, Chain's uh, native asset for current operations. Uh, which could add to user friction, uh, but they will push a new update that allow for state mine to be used without any KSM. Uh, I think what's also too, that's gonna be interesting is that they're adding the cross-chain uh, interface because um, currently remember, remember that Polkadot and Kusama uh, is all connected, kind of like an internet of blockchains with all the different hundred plus pair chains all connected uh, by a single uh, chain, which is the relay chain, layer zero, um, and that's the home base. And so currently right now yeah. for an asset to transfer and move uh, between each, there needs to be that cross-chain uh, interaction. And then later on too, when Kusama and Polkadot want to interact with each other, that's kind of two layer zeros talking to each other. There needs to be a full bridge that connects both uh, Kusama and Polkadot uh, together. But that's like the big vision goal for Polkadot and Kusama that will be coming up as well. Uh, in the future, though, I think what was hinted that the Polkadot 2.0 in the far future is that there are limitations of 100 parachains, but if the world needs more than 100 parachains, that's why Kusama exists. There's another 100 parachains living on Kusama. But if they want to go and extend beyond that, there could be another layer zero, like another Polkadot copy, and then that can be bridged into the original Polkadot. You call it Polkadot Classic, Polkadot 1.0, and still connect to Kusama as well, too. So... You can imagine that there's an infinite amount of polka dots that all can bridge to each other and talk to each other and each have its own 100 pair chains as well too. So it's kind of just a, a continued exponential expansion that we'll see a little bit later um, that has not quite happened yet. Now, this is a really exciting. What does this mean overall that State Mine uh, is first launched? Uh, you know, is the, this is the successful launch of first six pair chains. And if, if State Mine kind of clears and fully launched, we can expect the further updates uh, as especially after they, they take the data from the first uh, slot one to five uh, parachain auction and begin initiating the next phase, which is uh, auctions six through 10 and the ongoing uh, parachain auctions that will just continue to roll out afterwards as well. This adds also another layer of more use cases um, by bringing more DeFi, NFTs, stable coins, farmings, LP, you name it, now we're just having more different utility tokens come into play for the Kusama network. Uh, we're personally excited here on the parallel side because we want, can't wait to see what other tokens come alive. 
and in the future be able to be lent against, generate interest, or even loan uh, other assets on the Kusama network, Polkadot network, and beyond, especially when we start building and taking a look at um, the multi-chain functions, being able to tap into liquidity uh, or bridging liquidity uh, across uh, different chains as well too. So that's it for the recap for Polkadot uh, and the Kusama ecosystem. We'll continue to do recaps to know to keep you up to date what's going on in the space and breaking it down to give you the most informed updates on what's going on in the ecosystem. Feel free to reach out again, join our community as well. And we'll see you at parallel.fire.